Get your kicks on Route 66. Hey everyone, it's Julian Gordon here, creator of the Route 66 and author of The Eight Cylinders of Success. And I'm so excited that you registered for the Route 66 tour coming to your campus this fall, brought to you by the National Society of Collegiate Scholars. I honestly believe that this 90 minutes is going to be the most powerful 90 minutes of your undergraduate experience, right up there with graduation. Now, I know that that's a bold statement because graduation is this time of celebration and of achievement, but unfortunately for a lot of people in the class of 2010, that wasn't the case. Last year, only 25% of the class of 2010 had jobs on hand at graduation. So imagine being at graduation, sitting there with your cap and gown, three people in front of you, two people on your side, and three people behind you, and realizing that only two out of those eight people had a job at graduation, right? College is supposed to be a, f a financial investment, and you're supposed to get a financial return from that investment. But for a lot of college graduates, for six out of eight of them, they're actually returning home rather than getting a financial return. And we don't want that to be the case for you. So NSCS is committed to making sure that you're not only leaders in your four-year experience on campus, but that you also become leaders in your 40-year careers. And college is a four-year stepping stone for your 40-year career. So we did the Route 66 for 30 campuses earlier this year. We reached over 1,000 students, and there's over 1,000 of them actually taking Route 66 right now as we speak, getting ahead of everybody else in the game. And we want to actually come to your campus and share with you these powerful insights on 66 things that you must do before graduation to prepare yourself for that transition from your academic career to your professional career. And these 66 things are going to help you develop four types of capital your personal capital, your intellectual capital, your social capital, and your financial capital. Your personal capital is how well do you know yourself? It's always a good question. Knowledge of self. How do I master myself? How do I get a master's degree in who I am? And that comes with knowing your strengths, your passions, your purpose, and being able to discipline yourself to do the things that you actually want to do. And then there's your intellectual capital. This is what you know. And it may not necessarily be your major because a lot of people go through college and don't major in things that they're truly passionate about or even that they care about. Some people are even majoring in things only because their parents want them to. And then there is your social capital. This is who you know. And this has nothing to do with how many friends you have on Facebook. It's who you know. When you scroll through your cell phone, how many people do you know that are older than you in your cell phone? Right? It's about networking up, down, and across. And we're going to teach you that in these short videos and when we come to campus for the Route 66 tour. And then there's your financial capital. And this one is a little tricky, but it's who knows that you know what you know. We're going to talk more about that in video four, but stay tuned. So right now, we want to move forward and we want to get into video one on personal capital. At Route 66, we like to say that it's not my fault, but it is my future and that the best way to predict the future is to create it. And we want to help you create the life and the future that you actually want. So stay tuned, take notes, take care, and take Route 66. Till next time. Hey everyone, it's Julian Gordon here, and I'm so happy that you decided to tune into video one on your personal capital. And I want to open up with a few questions. How do you know what your purpose is? How do you discover your passions? How do you figure out what it is that you're truly strong at and what career or professional path will fit that? You see, in college, you major in a subject, right? You go in and you choose history, you choose math, you choose chemistry, whatever it is. But the most important subject that you can major in in life is yourself. The best thing that you can master is get a master's in self. But unfortunately, there aren't many classes or experiences on college campuses that actually guarantee that you will get to know who you truly are. You may graduate and have a high GPA in a particular subject, but that doesn't guarantee that you know who you truly are. And that's something that's extremely important if you want to have enduring success in life. And so what we want to do with Route 66 is show you some ways that you can develop your personal capital. So stick with me and we're going to walk through a few examples of things on the Route 66 list that will help you develop your personal capital. So the first item on the Route 66 list is to take the Gallup Strengths Finder 2.0. I was exposed to this book during my freshman year of college and it absolutely transformed my life. And when you take this book, inside of it you'll get a code for an online test that will help you discover your top five strengths in life. Mine happen to be Discipline, Maximizer, Achiever, Activator, and Woo. 
In addition to that, the book gives you strategies on how to integrate those five strengths into every aspect of your life, from academics to relationships to your profession. I really recommend that you read this book and take the online test because I think it will help you develop your life around your strengths as opposed to always focusing on your weaknesses the way society tells us to do. The fourth item on the Route 66 list is to take a personal development course. See, when you're in college, you major or minor in all kinds of subjects, but the most important thing that you can master in life is yourself. Unfortunately, there aren't many classes on your campus that will actually allow you to develop personally, and so you have to go off campus to find these opportunities. So I encourage you to look in your local news listings for personal development courses. There's all kinds of gurus like Tony Robbins, Deepak Chopra, Wayne Dyer. You can also check out Landmark Forum. These are some people that I was exposed to that helped me grow and develop in ways that my academic curriculum couldn't. One of the greatest inhibitors of success in people's lives is their fear. And so I want to challenge you to do something that you'll likely get rejected from. Because fear of rejection is a huge inhibitor that prevents us from taking opportunities that might actually be great for us, but we're just afraid of the rejection of not getting it. See, a lot of us have settled for good enough. I was good enough to get into this university. I was good enough to get into my major. I was good enough to be part of NSES. But what are you great enough to do? Why haven't you applied for that Rhodes Scholarship? Why haven't you applied to be a Fulbright? And what other things are out there that you really want to do, but you're not doing just because of fear of rejection? Go talk to that hot guy or hot girl that lives on your dorm floor. Just say hello. You might get an unexpected result. Focusing on developing yourself and overcoming the fears that are inhibiting you from being who you truly are will help you develop your personal capital and reach your full potential. Personal capital is great because it's one of the cheapest forms of capital that there is. All you really need is time and to ask yourself some introspective questions that will really get you at the heart of what's important to you in life. What motivates you? What is your purpose? What are your passions? So with that, I want to move on to the next form of capital, which is your intellectual capital. And this is not always connected to your major. Hopefully it is, but in most cases it's not. A lot of people go through college and they aren't majoring in things that they're truly passionate about or that they care about. They're only majoring in something because their parents want them to or they're thinking about their career. Now, I really believe that as you go through college, you should take all the classes that you're truly passionate about and then on the day of graduation, that's when you should name your major. Unfortunately, that's not the case, so we're going to have to do it our way. So stick with me, uh, take notes, take care, and take Route 66. Peace.